Hi guys, it's Sophie. So I'm going to be doing a really quick fire video today. I'm going to try and be on it. Just kind of recapping all the books that I read in my reading break and just giving you like literally just headlines on my thoughts of them. Okay, so I'm going to go quick. The first was The Incurable Romantic by Frank Tallis. Um, this is a non-fiction book about love when it goes wrong, when love becomes pathological. Um, I found it an interesting read in terms of thinking about love taken like to extremis. I, I found that quite engaging and it was that kind of psychological feel that I liked. It is quite pulpy, I would say. There's not too much substance to it. Um, I gave it three stars in the end and would recommend if you're into kind of pop psychology books. Next I read The New Republic by Lionel Shriver. I didn't like it at all and I actually DNF'd it. Then I read Bad Blood by John Carreyou, which is a non-fiction book about uh, Theanos, which was a company in the United States which um, essentially couldn't do any of the things it said it was doing. They, they said that they could do blood tests just with a vial of blood and they were totally unable to do so and it's about um, the company as it grew and the company as it fell. Um, I did actually really enjoy it and if you're into kind of non-fiction deep dives, um, especially on these kind of like naughty things that people do, um, and then I think that is one you'd enjoy. Finally finished Warlight by Michael Lodante. I read it on, well I listened to it on audiobook um, in my car and actually I have to say I didn't really get on with it. I found some elements of it quite interesting but the whole story just didn't grab me and I probably would have DNF'd it if I hadn't had it on my Audible subscription. Then I read American Fire by Monica Hesse which is a non-violent true crime book about um, a group of, well, a couple who set fires um, in their local area to abandoned houses. I found it interesting to read about true crime that wasn't murder and it was quite refreshing to do that because I'd read quite a lot of true crime that was murder, like just before that point if you remember. Um, but I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, I have to say I did, I liked the writing and I thought the story was told well but I feel like it's quite forgettable um, so unless you're into that as a thing I would probably wouldn't recommend it wider than those who are already into that kind of thing. Then I read Not That Bad by Roxane Gay which was really harrowing. Um, it's a collection of stories about women who have been raped um, and men as well who've been raped and their experience of that told in lots of different ways. Um, it was a book I could barely put down. Um, it demanded a lot of my attention but I did find it quite hard to read and I think anyone who's had um, history of, of sexual abuse or sexual assault in, in their lives would find it difficult to read. Um, I wanted to make Tom read it because I thought he might learn something from it maybe, um, but it is a lot, it is a lot to read. Um, so trust yourself on that, whether or not that's something you're interested in. Um, but if you are interested in understanding a little bit more about how those kind of acts happen and what the range is, like what rape can look like. I think it's a really well done piece of work. Um, it's just really difficult to read. Then I read XX by Angela Chadwick, which is a story about um, a lesbian couple who are looking to have their first child. And the UK has just um, started doing trials for this um, new procedure that lets women um, mix their ovaries. So you get ovum to ovum fertilization and one of the women will carry the baby. Um, I love this book, um, if you've watched my favourite books of the year it's in there, um, it fe it's very near future, it feels very realistic and I think the problems brought up about what men were saying about the process and what focus was put on them felt really real and yeah if, you if you're interested in it definitely go and read that one. Then I read Soviet Milk by Nora Ekstana and I have to say I don't remember anything about the plot of this book, um, I went through it quite quickly but I, I can't recommend it because it just hasn't stuck with me. Then I read The Silent Companions by Laura Purcell and I read this one for my In Real Life book club. Um, it made for good discussion because I think all of us bar one person didn't really like the book. Um, I definitely would have DNF'd it if it wasn't for book club. Um, it's about a woman who um, goes to live in a country estate that belonged to her late husband and in the house are these uh, wooden figures who somewhat come to life and are just generally kind of creepy. Um, I think there was way too much in that book, it could have been way simpler and just playing around with fewer ideas would have done it a wonder. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, I didn't enjoy it. Um, the Upstairs Room was one I read fairly recently that's that kind of like ghost story feel where there's, you don't really know what's going on and that was done so much better. Or just go for The Haunting of Hill House, so yeah I mean I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend The Silent Companions. Then I read Dead Girls by Alice Boleyn and I really like Dead Girls. Um, 
it is a selection of essays about how we use women when they're dead in media and life and what value they have and lots of other poppy culture things that I wasn't expecting like lots of conversation about Britney or like other elements like that that I hadn't expected to be in that collection but I really liked. Um, I think similarly to Not That Bad, I found it quite hard to read in one go but found it really compelling to read in one go. Um, and I did enjoy it, I think I gave it four stars overall, um, so if you've been thinking about it then give it a go. Then I read Fire Summon by Jamie Quattro and I loved it. Um, I would recommend it to most people I think. Um, it's a story about a woman who is married but has an affair with another married woman. Both of them are very religious, they're both Christians and the way they conduct their affair in themselves relates to their Christianity in a way that's really strange. Um, they're kind of becoming closer to God through this affair. Uh, it felt to me very, a, a very real grown up like, like picture of what that kind of relationship could be like. Um, and I, I just thought it was brilliantly done and I'm on the lookout for what she does next. Then I read The Dark Between Stars by Atticus which is a collection of kind of Instagram poetry. Um, I'd asked for it for Christmas because um, I was kind of looking for some poetry. I didn't read much poetry last year and it came out as like the top recommended and I didn't like it at all. I thought they were all kind of like bumper sticker poems like they could be on coffee mugs or on like little wall decorations and I maybe liked one or two out of the whole collection so yeah, please don't read that one. Then I reread Little Life by Hanya Yangahara, which I enjoyed. I gave it four stars this time around, I gave it five to start. Um, I think my mental health and where I was when I read it the first time meant I connected, connected with Jude so much stronger than I did this time. I still really enjoyed the book and the characters and getting to know them, but there wasn't that kind of slap in the face almost. Um, reflection of me in parts of Jude that there were when I read it for the first time when it came out, um, in, when did it come out? 2015, so three years on I've changed enough that it didn't hit me that hard, which is brilliant, um, but I still really liked rereading it. Then I read Educated by Tara Westover, um, which I which I did quite enjoy. I think um, it was overhyped and I think I'd expected it to be kind of life-changing. I enjoyed it, um, but I didn't find it kind of life-changing. I thought from reading it she seemed quite honest and quite fair but I have heard since that her family's refuted a lot of what she said or said that it's been dramatised which again leads me to feel kind of less enthusiastic toward the book than maybe I would have been if it didn't have the hype or that background to it. Um, I still think it's a good book, I still do think it's worth reading, I'm sure lots of you have read it already uh, but I don't think it's magic. And then the last book of the year that I read was That Was When People Started to Worry by Nancy Tucker and I'm getting similar feelings with Dead Girls and um, with Not That Bad for this one. I read it and I found it really hard to read. I think it would be so valuable for people who haven't experienced those mental illnesses um, to understand people who have and there's a lot in there that I think could be quite supportive and quite valuable when you're not doing very well. Um, I found it quite difficult because a lot of the things that were being talked about by the composites of people in this book who are describing, so she interviews a lot of people with a certain condition and then writes a fake person to kind of say some of those words for them. I could resonate a lot with some of those people in that book and found it quite difficult to read a lot of, I found it quite triggering. Um, but I did want to read it all again, I kind of felt compelled to go back and read more. Uh, so maybe it's one for short bursts or maybe it's one for someone who hasn't got a good understanding of mental illness and might want to learn more. Um, but I think if you are triggered by hearing about mental illness and the things people can do to themselves when they're not very well, um, it might be something that does trigger you too. So just keep that in mind if you want to read it. I did think it was really beautifully done and the idea behind what the book was definitely came across. So that's been the quickest I could have done that. That was two months worth of reading in one go. Uh, but I thought I didn't want to leave it so that I didn't talk about any of those books. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed that and let me know in the comments down below if there are any you're interested in. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.